Hey guys, it's your boy, Z Ziggurat. Nice to see you again. How's it going? Yeah? Yeah? Having a good day? Having a good day? I hope so. Okay, we've got Pokemon Black version. <laughs> As you can see, there is the gold and silver trainer there, standing under the red version sign. Not really red version. This is a uh, ROM hack. <coughs> Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Emu. People call me the Pokemon Kook. <laughs> this world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. It's, see, mo most of this um, is going to be very similar to the actual game. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself? I fight Pokemon for war mutants. War. Mutants. I don't know. It, some, of, some of the stuff is... It sounds weird. We don't even get ne um, an option for our name, either. It's just... Oh, wait. Lowercase. So we're not yelling our name. Oh no! <laughs> hmm. I guess. <clears throat> so, I've been looking around on YouTube and I cannot, for the life of me, find anything. This some punk. Kid. <laughs> How they have the three exclamation points and then. <laughs> yeah. He's been your rival since you were a 13. <laughs> what is his name again? I don't even know what JL is, but, um. I don't know. Let's call him Kevin. I have not found an actual playthrough of this game, so I was thinking, heck, I'll just put one up myself. Might as well. That's right, I remember now. His name's Kevin. So he didn't say that he was his grandson in this. Which is kind of weird. Like, the Oak isn't even in this game that I've seen so far. Save our world. And we have a good Pokemon. Come on, let's go. It's just... Welcome to my room. Got some trees. Alright, first, we'll get the potion. You know, that's always what we're gonna do in these ROM hacks. This is looks like an N64 sprite, but it's not, it doesn't do anything, so. Let's see, the Tom Green Show? It's not the Tom Green Show. I better go too. <laughs> it's usually some, um, some kid, like four boys walking along, um, along a railroad. But in this one, I'll always leave someday. It said so on TV. And yeah, instead of um, instead of the professor, we've got a much different house. I didn't have that many stories, I don't think. And Imakuni is the professor. I haven't seen anybody re give a reference of who Imakuni actually is. Oh, okay, so I guess this is the guy who was from the opening cutscene. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Imakuni is the guy from the Pokemon card game. No one's played it, so no one really <laughs> seems to know the reference. Weirdo, I'm fed, fed up with waiting. Kevin? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Ziggs. There are three Pokemon here. Haha! -ha! They are inside Pokeballs! When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon. I never understood this backstory, because it's like, if in your old age, how come you only have three Pokemon that are unevolved? It just doesn't make sense. Hey, weirdo. What about me? 
Shut up! <laughs> Kevin, you can have one too. Alright, so. Oh, he's even got shades. I love that. Okay, so we got Weedle. <laughs> this is like Pokemon hard mode. Caterpie. And Bellsprout. Now you may ask yourself, which one is he going to choose? Hey, don't go away yet. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Alright. I'm going to go with my boy Caterpie, just because I'm thinking post-game, like, late in the game, he's going to help me out because he's going to have psychic attacks, which is going to damage the other two. So, there's really only one option here. This Pokemon is really energetic. I should probably na nickname all my Pokemon, too. Am I gonna do a Nuzlocke? I don't know. Uh, let's name him... Beavis. I was gonna name him Brad, but I know somebody named Brad, and he's gonna think, Oh, why did you name him Brad? He's naming him after me. No, I just want to name some Pokemon some people names. <laughs> now, it says he grabbed Bellsprout, but I've seen people grab all three of the different starter Pokemon. And every time they grab a starter Pokemon, it's always the same. He always ends up throwing out the same one. It says he grabs a different Pokemon, but... The Pokemon that he uses is always the same one. I'm gonna try... I don't know. The music... I don't know if the music is too loud or not. Somebody let me know in the comments, please. Kevin wants to fight. Sent out Weedle. He always sends out Weedle, no matter what your starter is. Go, Beavis! And I think, yeah, I think we're going to try to win this. I haven't won with Caterpie. I won with Weedle. But yeah, even if you pick Weedle, he brings out a Weedle. Look it up at some of the other playthroughs. No one actually, I actually haven't seen any playthroughs. I've just seen people start it and be like, what? You have to start with a Weedle. No, I'm going to try this. <laughs> we're going to see how far we can get. Oh no, and I'm poisoned. And I'm poisoned. I wonder if I can beat him if I use an item. I shouldn't use an item though, because it's the first fight. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I want that experience. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm yeah. I'm I'm gonna faint. It's okay. It's okay to let your Pokemon faint sometimes. You won this round, Kevin. This is the last one he'll win. Actually, he comes back with like crazy strong teams later on. It's weird. I'll show you guys that. There's the one that I've seen. And then he walks across water. And the statue. Okay. Alright. All right, so he's, he gets healed afterwards. Okay, so here's the thing. There appear to be two Pikachu <laughs> among the gym leaders. So we're going to check this out. And you start out with $3,000. Nobody's noticed this. I don't understand what people's problems are with these things. We're going to try this. We're going to see how well we do. This is us in New York City. Okay, sure. Here's a sample. Alright, thanks. I just have a potion. That that potion's always there. Let's, let's toughen this Beavis up. Beavis the Butterfree. Coming this November. Beavis the Butterfree. 
Actually, um, coming this December. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Heck, if I play my cards right, I could probably level get him up to um level ten tonight, maybe. How does he start with? Do put? Do Pidgey usually have Sand Attack this early? Cause this isn't making any dang sense. All right, let's run away. Can't escape. Bull crap. Run away. <laughs> oh, what am I getting myself into? Oh no. This is bad. This is very bad. Run. <laughs> All right, I need to think about how I'm gonna do this. This is this is gonna get intense. All right, I'm wondering if I should just um, leave all the fights in, or if I should edit those out and just show like key points, because I want people to be along the ride, come along on this ride with me, like. Hmm. I don't know. As it is, so far, most of you guys aren't even leaving comments. So I'm gonna need some people to start doing that. Give me some tips. Let me know what you guys want to see. Because, honestly, it seems like my audience is pretty quiet about these things. You know what, I think I already came out too far. <laughs> I think I should just stay around the very beginning part, level up a little bit. I did not realize <laughs> how bad Caterpie is. Maybe it's just my crap, my beginning stats. Maybe I got a, lot, a bad draw, which can happen. Especially Gen 1, man. You don't even know if your Pokemon is bad. Alright, he's level 2. I should be able to take him. I'm thinking all we really need to do is level up a little bit, catch some Pokemon. We can do this. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's just Pokemon, man. Then I always end up trying to get a Butterfree anyways when I play seriously. Alright guys, I'm just going to cut it here for right now. Um, let me know if you like this. I was planning on trying to do a whole playthrough. But I'm still going to try to get to the first boss. The first uh, gym leader. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.